Farmers say they're being undercut and priced out of the market by substandard imports. Protests on Monday saw dozens of tractors surround Parliament to raise concerns over the nation's food security. One farmer told us some of the foreign imports even claim to be British made. More on this from NTD's Malcolm Hudson. An army of tractors dominating the roads outside Parliament. They are protesting over the increasing difficulties faced by the British farming industry, which they say are leaving the nation's food security at risk. The protest took part on Monday evening. Alfie, a young farmer, said British food is grown to some of the highest standards in the world. I think everyone here would say they're proud to do that. And you have imports coming in, which are substandard, which aren't grown to the same quality, grown using chemicals and um, practices that we wouldn't be allowed to use, which is wrong. And no one's saying that everything's got to come from Britain, but everything that comes into Britain should have the same standards. This essentially undercuts British farmers. Another issue for farmers is false or misleading labelling. He said some products bear a union flag when they have not been grown nor reared in Britain. A lot of stuff has produced in Britain and made in Britain when in fact it's come in as a crop or as a carcass and then been processed perhaps in this country and then it says are oh, made in Britain which again isn't a fair chance for a British farmer. Farmer and Safe British Farming founder Liz Webster said food security and the nation's health were at risk. She said international trade deals are allowing lower standard foods into the country and said the new English agricultural policy of paying farmers for environmental measures such as habitat creation was taking land out of food production. A lady taking part in the protest told us why she came to support the farmers. Because these rules and regulations are just stupid. Um, we need fresh food. We need food that's not 30 days imported into our country. Also, the food that's being packaged up is being labelled as uh, British food, but it's in fact coming from abroad. And this is unfair. It's unfair on British farmers. Alfie said they just want a fair chance to produce and sell their produce in the UK. I want to do this for the rest of my life. I know there's a lot of lads younger than me that want to do it for the rest of their lives. And people are actually having to go, is it worth getting into the job if, if it carries on this? It might not be here in 10, 20, 30 years. Malcolm Hudson, NTD News, London.